Hello everyone, I'm Joe Zgacki and welcome to Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami men's head basketball coach Frank Kate. Josh Jarrow also joins me on the show and coming up on the big show, we'll talk Hurricanes hoops with head coach Frank Kate. We'll take you into one of his practice sessions in part two of Unlimited Access and Josh Jarrow goes one on one with Hurricanes freshman guard Ryan Brown. Don't go anywhere. Hurricane Game Day starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS with University of Miami head coach Frank Kate. I'm Joe Zagacki alongside Josh Darrow and the coach, and we are in the second half of the season for the University of Miami coach, and uh, I think we could uh, classify the first half of the season as the Cardiac Kings. Every game. Seems like, uh, but you know, the margin of victory in, in this league is, is always going to be t tight. And, uh, but it seems like we've gone, we've taken to another level. We've gone to the last possession uh, every game. And, uh, but it's been good. I think our guys have learned from their experiences, particularly our first four, uh, those four games there where we lost four in a row. Uh, you know, each game was it's very tough. But I thought our guys learned uh, how to handle themselves a little bit better. And uh, I thought we got better after that. Coach, uh, I think you said it by like the third or fourth game right, that uh, you'd never been through anything like this. Can you imagine that it went on, you know, for so long and that every game seemingly, well, it's not seemingly, every game was exactly a, a one-shot game, last possession game, final buzzer? Well, we've had at least six in a row <laughs> like that, you know, even the ones we've won have gone down to last possession. So uh, it, it was quite an experience for me. There's no question about that, even as an assistant coach and, uh, you know, 25 years and not having that, that experience of gone where we lost four in a row come down to last possession, but even so, we've had at least six games in a row that have come down to last possession. It's been a uh, very interesting <coughs> season indeed. Uh, the one thing that has not wavered has been uh, your team's effort. How have you been able to manage to keep their attitude so good? Well, we, we, we've kept it very positive. Uh, I think early on, we, you know, we really wanted to get our guys to understand the little things, and, and so our practices were very intense uh, you know, when we lost a couple of those games, and, and we had a lot of teaching, but uh, you know, we've, we've, in terms of how we practice, I think we've changed it a little bit. We're still teaching, but we want it to be very positive. Coach, uh, during mm -hmm. this time, you, you've gotten some kids that uh, have stepped up at the right time. And uh, I know depth was a little bit of concern because you had some injuries. Um, you know, you had Donovan Kirk transferred out of the program. That being said, Ryan Brown, really of late, the freshman, uh, has really stepped up for you. He, he really has, Josh. And, he, you know, he's our only perimeter sub right now. We, we're kind of... Uh, having to play agent and, and the perimeter a little bit, but uh, Ryan is getting a lot of minutes because of that being all in perimeter seven. He's done a really nice job, and you go back to the uh, <clears throat> the Virginia game, and obviously he made some big plays. But even before that, the game against uh, um, Georgia Tech, he has eight rebounds. So he's done a nice job, and he's getting better and better. Coach, uh, along those lines, you take a look at at your rotation because of some of the injuries and and the development of, of Ryan Brown and Adrian Thomas uh, helped uh, win the. Uh, win the Virginia game, your rotation is right around seven or eight, maybe seven and a half. But uh, that's also is to find some roles and is also required guys like Duran and Malcolm to play a lot of minutes. Yeah, and you know, that, that stretcher you talk about that, you go back to that Georgia Tech Virginia, we had a short turnaround, you know, and, uh, and those guys didn't get much rest and that was in, you know, but they're playing heavy minutes and it is what it is. I think those guys like to play and, yeah. and, uh, uh, you, you know, you get Durant talking about AAU ball like he did last year in the ACC tournament, so they're used to playing a lot. I'd also imagine for sometimes in those situations, you know, like you said, it is it is what it is, but for those guys, they know they're going to play and uh, they're going to stay on the court. Not that it leads to, to, to errors or anything like that, but they can just get in the flow, get in the rhythm, and they're going to go on. They're just, they know they're out there and they got to log. They can almost manage the game themselves somewhat. Absolutely, and I, you know, uh, there's no question that Ryan now, is, you can see that happening for him, being more comfortable and confident. He knows he's going to play, you know, and, and, but you see him play better because of that. And, you know, a guy like, um, you know, uh, Raphael and Eric, and they're, they're just they're waiting for their opportunities, and, and they're getting minutes sprinkled in there. But uh, there's no question it helps a guy like, like Ryan Brown. Also, everybody knows guards can take you a long way in postseason play. Your guards played great at the end of last year. You've, you're de uh, developing the depth at guard. 
Malcolm Grant's had a bunch of double-figure games this year. Darius Adams and Durant Scott as well. Yeah, and I, I, w I would like to talk about Garris a little bit. I think Garris is really coming on. I, I look at uh, his last couple ball games, how he's played. There's no question, you know, he and Ryan Brown, the two young kids on our team, Ryan being a freshman, him a sophomore, uh, their, their development is extremely important to our success. All right, we'll uh, talk more about the Hurricanes. And as we continue on here on the show, Ryan Brown will be a part of the show as well. Also, we'll talk about Clemson. So don't go anywhere. Plenty to come right here on the show. When we come back, we'll take you onto the court in part two of Unlimited Access at Coach Hate's practice session right here on Hurricanes Game Day on CSS. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS with University of Miami head coach Frank Haith. We move on now to unlimited access as we take you onto the floor and inside the University of Miami program as Coach Haith has given us great access to what it's like to be a Miami Hurricane basketball player. Now let's go into one of his practice sessions in unlimited access. in the hands, catch the ball. Gotta cut harder. Cut harder. Hey, look, who's a uh, five minutes since first screen? You four, you go screen for him, bam, you turn back and come get it. Alright? Good, good. 
there. One sweep. One sweep. Hey, quick. That's you. You're on the perimeter. Yeah. If you get put, like, for example, if Duran was your guard on your side, and they're in switch, and we call switch, and you get pushed, and then you, you got to stay. We're in the switch. And he's, he's got your guard is up, all right? Coach Schwartz. Coach Schwartz, get Ryan. Get Ryan. Run off. Ryan, go green. Go green. Come on, ET. There you go. All right, let's go bring it in. Hard work. All right, a good behind the scenes look in our unlimited access at University of Miami practice with University of Miami head coach Frank Gates. Good physical practice. Gary Adams is working for him because he's been playing really well. Obviously, he's practicing well. Yeah, he, he has been. And there's, you know, that, that segment there was a lot of our five on five stuff, a lot of competitive stuff, uh, you know, com competition one on one, a lot of competing. And I, I felt like uh, we needed to do a lot of that with this young team, you know, and stop, a lot of drill stuff, but we need to do a lot of competitive stuff. More importantly, um, I don't know how Coach Schwartz did in practice. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you had to sub him in. I, I mean, clearly, he better not have made. He better not have had any mental errors. He should know where to go on the court. Yeah, I think he knows where to go. <laughs> I think I shocked him with a Schwartz you're in right now. So, uh, you know, we're getting down in numbers at practice so a little bit. Uh, you know, with Daquan Jones breaking his hand, and obviously, you know, we lost some guys. You know, you know uh, that day we probably were a little nicked up, and we needed his service a little bit. And he, 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 you know, he's a passer. You know, he's a talker and a <laughs> that's, passer. That's what the, the scouting report on Coach Schwartz, right? <laughs> passer first, yeah, shooter yeah, second. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't go for the shot face. He's a, he's a shot face. <laughs> Josh is lobbying to get into one of your practice sessions. All right, but he is going to be back on the show here momentarily. When we come back here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS, we will introduce you to Hurricanes freshman guard Ryan Brown. Josh Darrow goes one on one. That and more just around the corner right here on Hurricane Game Day. Hurricane Game Day here with freshman Ryan Brown. I'm Josh Darrow, and Ryan, uh, let's let's uh, let's let the fans meet you. Learn, learn a little bit about you. They've yes, seen sir. you on the court. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Let's talk about uh, you're from Savannah, right? Yes, you're sir. from Savannah, Georgia, and your pops was a big time basketball player. Yes, like, sir. Where did you go to college? I went to Georgia Tech University for two years after transferring from a junior college in um, Indiana, and he was there for two years, and then got drafted in '79. Got drafted NBA or CBA? NBA. NBA. By the Utah Jazz. By the, did, he ever, did he get any time in the NBA? No, nah, he played a bunch of summer league, but um, eventually ended up in the CBA, played most of his career there. But now nah, he put up some pretty, right, some staggering. He's, he was a big time CBA player now, right? He was all time leading scorer to CBA. All, all time, time CBA. So you, where's it, where's, where you got some of that in your, you got some of that in your blood, right? Yeah, yes sir, yes sir, yeah. running through there. Now what was his nickname? Downtown Tico Brown. Downtown Tico Brown. Are you downtown Ryan Brown Jr.? Uh, yeah, I guess you could call me that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Daquan Jones is from Atlanta. Um, so. And you guys, you didn't play AAU together, mm -hmm. but you guys played on the same AAU team. But you guys yes, know sir. each other from back home. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, had a lot of practice. Wait, wait, with you can call home. me Josh. I don't need to call me, sir. This is for the <laughs> you gotta do this. But I, I appreciate the respect. Yes, sir. So but, you and Daquan, um, tell me about it. Yeah, um, actually, he played, you know, we played the same team worldwide, and um, while we were having practices in Atlanta, Georgia, he would come by, practice with us, play some games, stayed at his house a couple of times, but, um, you know, he was just like a big influence on me, just coming in the AAU world, he taught me a lot of things, and one of, one of my influences for coming to the University of Miami. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, he must have been, uh, uh, who, what, besides the Quan, what were your other influences? Uh, in terms of coming to you, when did you first hear about the University of Miami? Uh, who'd you first talk to, and, and ultimately, mm -hmm. why did you decide to come here? Well, I, I first got a letter, like at the end of eleventh grade, and I was just happy. I even got a letter. It was like my first big time um, ACC school they offered me, and I always liked Miami, just the atmosphere and everything. So once I saw that letter, I kind of already had my mind made <laughs> up. They didn't have to do a lot of recruiting, but 
It was easy. From, yeah, from that standpoint, and just the fact I wanted to play in the ACC, I always wanted to play in the ACC. From watching it with my dad, we would watch Georgia Tech over the years, like since I was little. So just seeing all those ACC ACC teams, I just always wanted to play in this atmosphere. So did you come down here and uh, did you come down here and make a visit? Uh, when did you come? Who'd you hang out with? Did Daquan take you around? What'd you see? Or well, when you came, did you fall? Did you fall in love? What, what you thought? Was it, was it what you thought? Yeah, it was. And actually, I committed before I even came for a visit. Oh, we love so, that. Yeah, it was great. So just to come here and just know I didn't have to worry about making a decision, just to come and have fun, it was great. And, uh, as Julian Gamble was one of my host on my unofficial, and um, when I came on my official visit. I was with Julian then too, but you know DJ was always with us, of course. And I actually went to an Oklahoma football game last year when they when they won, so that was great just to go to see that atmosphere. I've been to every football game this year too, so it's been fun. Oh, so you've been there. I didn't know. See, we learned a little something. So, <laughs> so you're big time. you big time. You football fan, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you excited about uh, you excited about the future of Miami Hurricanes football? Yeah, hopefully we can both change change it around <laughs> next year. Um, you know. Both haven't been doing exactly what everybody expected, but we'll, we'll pull it through. All right. So tell me about uh, you know what you you know what the, you picked out a major yet? Do you know what you're studying? Sports administration. Sports administration. Yes, so the sports, the basketball, it all just it runs right through you. Yes, sir. What do you keep it on one? What do you see yourself doing? Uh, I know you. Uh, you yeah, I see yourself playing. I know you see yourself playing ball at some point. Yes, sir. But down the road, what are we what are we doing? I, I either want to be a sports agent or a GM. So that's basically what I'm doing in this field right now. You know, basically, I'll take any job in, in sports, <laughs> athletic director. Hey, so, call yeah. Kirby. Hey, Kirby, hey, if you don't Get some advice, step down yeah. for a day, I'll, I'll take your job. Yes, and, let me ask you, so you, you want to be a general manager. So uh, give us give us a scouting report on your game. Uh, that's kind of hard. Come on. It is. It's kind of hard. I would say, um, of course, I'm a shooter, but, I mean, I've been incorporating my game, driving a lot more. So I would say, you know, kind of press up on me, but at the same time, come with caution because I might drive around you. Might drive, but uh, I know when talking with Coach Hayes, I said, "Tell me about Ryan Brown." He goes, six five, but can really shoot the rock." So yes, I know you might put it on the floor, but yes, sir. the J. Yes, you, that's where you it's know at. For the J. That's where it's at. Since I was little, that's all I could do. Couldn't right. do nothing else but shoot. All right, <laughs> you have now met freshman. Ryan Brown, and uh, Ryan's also going to, he wants to be the AD, he's also going to be a host. Take it away. We'll be right back with Hurricane Game Day. It's all about the youth. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami head coach Frank Hayes, Joe Zagacki alongside Josh Darrell. The Hurricanes will be returning home to take on the Tigers of Clemson. Uh, before we talk about that game, coach, the season is a marathon. And uh, a year ago, you got all the way to the ACC semifinals. I guess you have to keep in perspective, though, that the season is very long, not too high, not too low. One of those deals, right? Well, you just hit the nail on the head. You got to keep that even kill uh, in terms of the uh, no one game is going to make you and no one game is going to break you. It is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And I think our guys have handled that well because, I mean, there's a lot of ebb and flow in the game. You want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year. Well, that being said, too, uh, marathon season. But as you come down the stretch, you know, the games probably take on a little more significance, not only because of uh, there's only so many games left, the opportunities dwindle, mm -hmm. and also, you know, you know we're, we're mounting a bit of a comeback. Um, but... No one, I guess the, the, the bigger message would be when it wasn't going your way, that there was a lot still left to play for. Absolutely. Now we get to the part of the season where we're at right now, you're, you're, you're fighting for postseason play. And that's the goal is to get yourself in postseason play. And, you know, you still, we're fortunate enough we got that tournament at the end of the year to continue to play for and seeding in the tournament. So, um, which we did, Joe, Joe just mentioned, we did well in the tournament last year. So there's a lot to continue to play for and a lot of opportunities. You also are just coming back from a road trip that took you to Greensboro where the ACC tournament is going to be played so that was pretty clever scheduling to get a game inside the Coliseum where you're going to go play in the ACC tournament yeah and a lot of our teams in our league have done that but we're actually going to be the latest team we're doing it in February so I think you know closer towards the tournament and uh, it was a uh, something we wanted to do and I really appreciate UNCG giving us the opportunity to have to, to go there and play Greensboro has been uh, Greensboro has been a place I say it's been pretty kind to us we've had some success 
there in, in the ACC tournament, obviously um, a year ago, but a few years back, took Duke down to the wire as well. But it's probably, it's, why don't you walk us through the mindset of, of wanting to get there during the regular season when you know you're going to go back for the ACC tournament? Well, you wanted the experience of playing in that building. And, uh, you know, we do have some guys on this team that did not play in that building, uh, like Ryan Brown and Eric Swope and, and, and uh, Raphael. So give them the opportunity to be in that building to just to get that experience. Uh, you know, we have had some success. I think Greensboro is the best place for the ACC tournament. So I'm a little biased. I'm from North Carolina, and, and that's the, kind of the birthplace of it. But uh, I think they do the best job in terms of they know how to run the tournament. Also, you, you mentioned the, fr the three freshmen. You've done a good job of bringing those guys along. Uh, Swope, Ryan Brown, and Akba Jory, and they've all found a way to contribute a little bit for you, and Ryan Brown especially as of late. Yeah, and I think they all have had their moments and, and have had opportunities to help us uh, throughout the year, and there's no question Ryan has obviously stepped his game up to another level here late in the year, and, uh, and I always thought he would be the guy that would give, a, give us a chance to give himself a chance to have an impact, and he has. All right, coming up, on, uh, coming up this week we have Clemson. And uh, they've got a talented group, a new head coach, a little bit of a different style of play. Uh, they got a lot of size, a lot of size, but they also have some uh, good quick guards. And the last time we were there, the kid Young hit a, hit a, a buzzer beater off the shot clock that, that probably put the game away. Again, uh, another tough matchup in the ACC. It is, you know, and they really, just, they really hurt us in the paint. You know, Jerry Grant, uh, if I recall, had a great game against us, and we got to do a great job on him. But you mentioned uh, Young and Stitt. I think uh, really good backcourt in terms of matching up with our guys. Uh, they play great defense, um, you know, and they and they really got out on transition against us. I think the biggest thing for us, we've got to get back and set our defense against them, and we got to keep them off the glass. All right, Miami and Clemson is going to be another edgy night in ACC play at the Bank United Center. Looking for a big crowd for that one, Coach. Uh, thanks for being with us here today. Thank you. And best of luck against the Clemson Tigers. Come on out and see the Hurricanes. At the Bank United Center, taking on the Clemson Tigers should be a very entertaining ball game. They all are with the University of Miami. The Cardiac Canes, that's what we're going to uh, tag them. All right, for Josh Darrow and University of Miami head coach Frank Cave and the entire crew, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next week right here on CSS. Knock it down, Garris. Good shot, Garris. Garris, good job, Garris. Hey, Kenny, you're playing hard. I like. Hey, you're going hard right now. That's good. Ball hits you in the hands. Catch the ball.